today we are breaking free of Albion. Going for a swim. Oh no! I don't like this. There better be a very cold beer waiting for me on the other side of this bay. This is Josh and I'm Erin. We recently started documenting our travels around the world, hoping it will inform, inspire and entertain. Subscribe to join the adventure. So Josh arrived like a week ago now and we kept trying to leave Olbia. Something has always brought us back. Mum had a dental emergency, then our batteries died, we needed new batteries. So we've tried to leave and we failed every time. But today, today, we are going. So, let's get underway. to the other side so we found a path we think we're going in the right direction it's gonna turn into a bit of an adventure huh it's and we lost already we lost someone's house up there So we found a road, I think we're going the long way around, but uh, we found a signpost and we're heading towards Porto Cervo. So yeah, beer awaits, just... Got to earn it. Yeah, exactly. It is very hot and I'm extremely sweaty. There better be a very cold beer waiting for me on the other side of this bay. but did not anticipate how quickly it will get dark <laughs> so we've got to really hurry we're kind of in the middle of the of the bush so to speak this way yeah. <laughs> oh no i don't like this go right we just have to swim across we'll wonder if we'll Uh, we've made it back to the bay, we just happen to be on the wrong side. So, the dinghy's just over there. So I'm going to have to swim and go get it. Back in a minute! 
After our adventures ashore, the following morning we were up and away, back out to sea, headed for the Madalena Islands. The Madalena Archipelago is a group of seven large islands, the biggest of which being La Madalena, that sit on the northeast point of Sardinia in the Bonifacio Strait, a great jumping off point for us to get over to Corsica in a few days' time. It's a national park and is now part of the Palagos Sanctuary for the Conservation of Marine Mammals, which happens to be the largest marine protected area in the Med. Anyway, getting to our first anchorage required us to follow a transit line, something that Mum deemed very exciting. non-sailing subscribers. A transit line is basically when you're coming into a narrow bay and there's lots of obstacles to avoid, like there is now rocks and shallow waters and things like that, there's two markers on the on the shore which at night time are lit up but in the daytime I just have like stripes on them so the stripes will line up and you head on a certain bearing so in this case it's 139 degrees once you're on the right bearing and you're on the right course, the two markers on the shore should line up perfectly and that means you're heading on the right track. And that is your transit line. We had a very chilled week this week, swimming, sailing and exploring. It makes a pretty great combo. Next week we're leaving Italy behind to make the short hop over to France. 
and Josh and I get to take a trip down memory lane. It is so weird to do that. Thanks for watching guys. Subscribe if you haven't already and if you could comment below to let us know any stops in France we shouldn't miss out on, that would be very helpful. Ciao ciao!